From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV. We're back at the bar, of course, back at Tommy Max, brought to you by my good fr- friends at Bruss Nutter Wealth Advisory Team in Ponte Vedra Beach, the Southern Grill right there on the South Bank, and Goodfellas Cigar Lounge and Spirits. This time around, we got two great guests, two ladies that are kicking butt out there. Wen Rady from House of Leaf and Bean and Adrian Williams from Ujama Juice. We welcome them now to the show. How are you, Wen? Thank you. Really Good afternoon. Well. Yeah. How you doing? Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to the show. Yeah, You're so from well. Pittsburgh. Yes. You're a Steeler fan? Yes. Oh, uh, come on. Yes. That's why we drink this. How, that's why you drink Yingling, right? Because yes. it's from PA. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been in Jacksonville? Since 2006. Okay. Mm-hmm. What made you, how, how'd you get to move down here? What was the, what was the move for? Recruiter. Okay. Yeah. Recruiting? Recruited, yeah, recruiting. For like a staffing company or something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, recruited us to uh, Jacksonville. Okay. And since uh, 2006, we live here. Since okay. Then, this is our home. It's a great home, and I, I love it here. No doubt. All right, tell us about mm-hmm. uh, Leaf and Bean, the organic and natural cafe. You're on Beach Boulevard, aren't you? Yeah, Beach and yeah. San Pablo. Yeah, I know, I know where you're at. So House of Leaf and Bean, originally, yes, it's an organic cafe. Okay. A fast, casual uh, restaurant. But right now, we uh, transform the cafe to a sit-down, okay. a full table service, cool. and then rename it to a Hakka kitchen. Okay. We still offer similar food, but more uh, focused on the Hakka cuisine. Okay. Uh, uh, as you know, Hakka is an uh, ancient uh, Han Chinese from the, okay. from the north. Is it the way China. the food's prepared? Like fire wise or heat wise or something like that. What's yes, very really uniquely to okay. this uh, to Hakka people. Okay. Uh, uh, cool. If you know a little bit Hakka uh, people's uh, history, okay. it's very really similar to Jewish people. Okay. They migrated uh, to from northern China to Middle Kingdom of China and to South and to okay. the rest of the world. Wow. Over three thousand years migration. Okay. So throughout the migration. They keep the culture, keep the uh, cuisine, and uh, uh, maintain, preserve a lot of uh, uh, language okay. and traditions. Actually, uh, Hakka people speak still ancient Chinese. Very cool. A history yeah. lesson here on the horse's yeah, mouth. They, I love it. Absolutely. And the food is also evolved okay. over time when uh, migrate into different places. So certain ingredients would not be able to get it. You know, if you the north to right. the south, oh, okay. so they change it accordingly, oh. but still keeping the core of the dishes. Okay, okay. So and this is your first restaurant. Yes. Wow, good yeah. for you. That's a tough gig, isn't it? Yeah. First year, you made it your first year. No, this is our fifth year. Oh, you're, oh, man, you're kicking ass out there. Yeah. I can say that word on my own TV <laughs> show. I think. Well, I just yeah, did. We would like to. Good keep for it you. Out. Yeah, keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, great to have you yeah. on the show, Adrian. How are you? Good. Thank you. Great to have you. Thank you. Ujama juice. Tell us about it, please. So Ujama is the actually like the fourth day of Kwanzaa in Swahili, which means um, economic development, but okay. to us it means family. Mm-hmm. So okay. if you read in the back of the bottle, you'll see it says "Welcome to the Family," mm-hmm. and you got the juice now. Now. Cool. Yes. How long have you been doing this? And this is your business, right? This is, this is your business. gig. Yes. All right. Um, Another entrepreneur. I love it. I love my it. My husband and I were talking about it, mm-hmm. and then okay. we were in bed, and then I woke up, and he bought me my business license. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, and that was during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So when we met three years ago, I would bring him juices mm-hmm. and smoothies for like lunchtime. Mm-hmm. Okay. Instead of eating at like Five Guys, because oh. right. very healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I right. would make them for him, and like baby girl, he was mm-hmm. my dad's baby girl. Mm-hmm. He's like a baby. Um, Babe, this tastes so good. Yeah. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. And he would tell me people would buy it. Okay, whatever. Okay. So then I would make it and I would mm-hmm. give it to friends and they would say, like, yes, this is really, really so good. So this is your mm-hmm. blend, your yes. concoction. It's my recipe. Wow, your yes. recipe. Mm-hmm. Wow. So everyone, those are the top two sellers mm-hmm. are Ujama Mama, which is pear, lemon, and ginger. Okay. And then Beat It, which mm-hmm. is red apple, beet, lemon, and ginger. Wow, that is so cool. So uh, how long have you been out in the market? Mm-hmm. A year. A year? Yes. Oh, wow. So you're new. out there promoting. Super new. <laughs> okay. Uh, we use a cloud-based kitchen on Emerson yep. called Jack's yep. Kitchen. Yeah, I know exactly and what that's Very we cool. we have a good nature juicer, mm-hmm. and we make it weekly, um, freeze it, mm-hmm. because it, you can freeze it, okay. and then um, it has a seven-day shelf life. 
Okay. So let's say you order a cleanse, mm -hmm. but yep. you're not ready because you want to eat crab legs or mm -hmm. yeah. a cheeseburger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just put it in the freezer and then thaw it, and then you'll have it ready for you. Wow, that's so cool. What What was the biggest challenge? Like, I, like bottling was that like finding the right bottling cup? Anything? What was the biggest challenge so to get actually, it off the ground? We're able to get the bottles from Miami, and it okay. takes like we can order them, and then within mm -hmm. a week they'll be delivered. Perfect. And we actually have you. our labels printed on the bottles in okay. the beginning we had to manually put them on there okay mm -hmm. and your ocd really mm -hmm. kicks in then i bet <laughs> um, so mm -hmm. wow the bottling is easy the hardest okay. part really is f the fulfillment mm -hmm. because okay. it is just me we do have that one employee mm -hmm. who helps me as well before it was my husband okay mm -hmm. but that was like friday mm -hmm. night was our new date night from yeah. 10 p.m till 10 a.m oh, making boy. juice wow. right and he has a full-time job yeah. we have a seven-year-old yep mm -hmm. it's a lot so yeah. we have an employee now who goes Good. in the kitchen with me twice right. a week mm -hmm. and that means we're you're able to be out there that means you're grown where can yes. people find you we are in um, Crave Vegan in the Orange Park Mall. Okay, mm. cool. Vegan Cafe Jacks on Atlantic. Mm. Okay. St. John's Cairo Sport and Spine in St. John's County. Mm. Um, Vive mm. Yoga Studio oh, right. right on Hendrix. Awesome. Um, and people just hit me up on Instagram or yeah. send me a text mm. and we can feel for the Well, we'll the blast order. it on LinkedIn for you for sure. Thank you. Congratulations. That's really awesome yeah. to both of you. Really cool. You're, mm -hmm. you're out there chasing dreams and making it happen. It's not easy being an entrepreneur. Mm -mm. It's not easy, not easy. right? No, it is. It mm -hmm. never stops, but uh, it's very fulfilling. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, good luck. Keep kicking that A out there. All right, yes. and go Jags. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a Jag fan? You. Maybe. So I'm from Chicago. Oh, but so my am I? dad's from Naperville specifically. Oh, uh -huh. Where'd you go to high school? Um, my I went to high school in Ohio, but I would have went to Naperville mm -hmm. Central. Okay. My brother went to Central. I went to Wheeling. Mm -hmm. So not too far. Okay, not Wheeling too far high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, awesome. But I went to school in Ohio, so I am a, mm -hmm. the Ohio State Buckeye fan. Oh, big, mm -hmm. big game last weekend. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. And was my dad is from Bra from Cleveland. Uh oh. So when she said Pittsburgh, I'm uh -oh. like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. He that's calls right. them the Pitt Squeak Squealers. Uh oh. <laughs> it's I don't know. They got a lot of rings to go against. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. Thanks for being here. Man, Thank love you. meeting new people and what they're doing out here in our great city. Always a pleasure. Hey, if you like seeing and hearing these kind of conversations, mm -hmm. see more at IWantabuzz.com. Until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. Mm -hmm. We'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers.